breast cancer. I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative aggressive breast cancer. I remember saying to my oncologist, are you sure that can't be me? I'm a 44 year old woman who is healthy and gets her mammograms every year. Then I thought, why not me? Why not? I remember the drive home from my oncology appointment and the first thing that came to me was my beautiful daughters, who would be there to take care of them if I was no longer here? I knew I had to survive to watch them grow into the beautiful, loving, caring adults I knew they would be, to see them walk down the aisle and hold my grandchildren for the first time. I would have to completely surrender to my doctors and family to take care of me when I was so used to taking care of others. I would always hide the truth from my family of how much pain I was really in to save them the agony of what I was really going through. My surgery, my amazing surgeon came to my bed before they took me into surgery and said, we will do our very, very best. I prayed for a miracle and put every ounce of faith into my surgery. I knew when I came out of surgery, I would be different, but not knowing how different. It didn't matter because I was still me. I still loved myself wholeheartedly. It doesn't matter, different is different. I was still here. My chemo, a love-hate relationship with chemo. I was grateful for it because it was killing all the cancer cells in my body. I hated it because of the way it made me feel. The sickness, the joint pains, the feeling of being so exhausted from the lack of sleep, not feeling like the woman I once was. 11 days after my first chemo, my hair started to fall out in handfuls. I knew it was time to have my beautiful head shaved. I always thought my hair was my identity of who I really was. But I realized I am who I am and my hair does not define me as a woman. I am me with hair or without hair. As my hair was being shaved, I looked over at my partner and saw the fear in his eyes, the realization that this was really happening, the fear of losing me when he has just found me. My journal was my safe place. When days turned into nights and night turned into days, I would write my deepest thoughts with my tears falling onto the pages, washing away the words that I had just written. Reading back of my journal, not much made very much sense, but it did not matter because I'm here, I'm a survivor.